Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today we are talking about periods. We all know when it comes to that time of the month, it can just be the worst. And if you are someone like me, I literally have like every symptom that you can have when your cycle starts. Like before your cycle starts being super moody and pain messing to during the cycle, having the cramps, the back aches, the hot sweats, the terrible mood, the fatigue, eating all the time. Like I get, I, I deal with everything. So I wanted to bring you guys a video that talked about the ways that I pamper myself during that time of the month that make me feel better, that don't necessarily require any medication, even though my doll is my best friend during that time of the month. This video is in collab with my girl Vicky Logan. She is going to be doing a video about periods as well, but hers is gonna be talking about hygiene. So how to keep yourself clean down there and all of that. And we are talking about ways to make, just make the situation feel better because we can't avoid it unless we're the lucky ones that get like two or three day periods or no periods at all and you have no symptoms and you don't have cramps and you don't have anything. This may not be for you. This is for me and my girls who do deal with the terrible cramps, that do deal with the mood swings, and that do deal with all the other stuff that comes along with your cycle. So my number one way that I love to pamper myself during my cycle is a hot bath with candles, Epsom salts, a bath bomb from Lush, or something to just make me relax. That is the biggest thing. When you are, you know, in your cycle, your body is actually doing a lot of stuff. Your body is going through a lot of things at that point, which is why you're so tired and you feel like very groggy and all of that. And so you want to just make the process just a little bit better by relaxing, doing things that are calming for you. Now, if you're not a bath person, you could also meditate. That's another way to kind of calm you down, calm your system down and get through this kind of rough time of the month. Number two is a heating pad for your back slash for your stomach. I have really bad lower back aches when I have my period, especially like maybe a few days before. I always have really bad back aches, which is usually the first sign that my period is coming. And so I grabbed my heating pad from Target. They have a couple different ones, but just the regular heating pad that has the cord and you can stick it into the wall instead of you know running and getting pain meds because sometimes if you take too many pain meds, your body gets immune to them. So you have to take more to have the same effect over you know a certain amount of time. So if you can, try to avoid taking pills as much as possible and having the heating pad will help relieve your cramps and your back aches or if you don't have a heating pad that you can stick into the wall use a you know a warm water bottle a warm towel damp towel any of those will really help soothe the cramps and soothe the aches in those areas third one is watch your favorite show read a good book listen to your favorite artists like seriously do something that you really enjoy this is why it's important to make sure that self-care mentally and spiritually up here is a part of your pamper process because a lot of times during that time of the month we're in a bad mood we don't want to talk to nobody we don't want to be around people we're you know already kind of at, on edge so do something that really brings you joy for me that is watching some of my favorite netflix shows currently i have been watching the oa bomb it is so 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 good the oa is one of my favorites um what else am i watching right now stranger things watch some documentaries my favorite documentaries on netflix right now are the black power mixtape uh, the 13th, I personally like to watch very, you know, woke and <laughs> cultural documentaries or like political documentaries. I really like those. Or watch any of the, you know, like the food ones. Those always kind of like throw you for a loop um, and probably tell you and show you things that you don't want to know about the different like meats and stuff that you eat. Um, so be prepared for those ones. But yeah, grab, you know, Netflix and chill with yourself and just chill. Series, like chill. <laughs> 
Number four is gonna be exercise. I know the last thing you wanna do when you're on your cycle is go to the gym, but for real, doing very like a light jog or stretching, yoga, these types of exercises do help with like your cramps and things and just like your overall energy because I know it sounds kind of like it wouldn't help, like it'd be more painful if you went and worked out, but for real y'all, like there's science behind it that says that if you do light exercises and aerobic stuff, you your body will feel better and your energy will go up. It's a stress reliever, a natural stress reliever. So that stress that your body's going through, through that process of your cycle, it'll help um, if you go to the gym. And this is the time for me that I always fall off my workout schedule. I It never fails. I'll literally go my three weeks, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, and then my period hits and I'm like, uh, I'm not going to the gym this week and then one week turns into two weeks three weeks So don't let your cycle throw you off of your workout schedule and five is drink ginger tea ginger has a lot of really good health benefits including minimizing cramps and Helping with digestion. So I like to drink a Tazo tea. It's called jasmine ginger tea It has green tea in it as well. So you want to stay away from like coffee and really high levels of caffeine during your cycle too because that actually makes it worse. Also like high processed foods so when you're on your cycle you also want to eat better because it, it does have an effect on the symptoms that you have during your cycle but it has just a slight zing to it but add a little bit of honey and it will make you feel so much better. So that's it, those are the five ways I like to pamper myself during that time of the month because you know what? I deserve it, okay? You deserve it. Treat yourself during that time of the month. <laughs> All right, y'all, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you guys check out Vicky's video. I will link it for you guys here so that you can go and watch her hygiene video when it comes to your cycle. And let me know if you guys want more videos like this that are more like girl focused for real and talking about girl issues and girl parts and things like that. So I love you guys and until next time, I will talk to you guys later. Bye. The branding, I love the packaging of it. I would have picked this up myself if I didn't get it gifted to me just because I love the packaging 